Hello, 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 and welcome to my live sale. I am going to go ahead and start a little early today and wait for the um, YouTube notifications to go out and wait for some people to uh, pop in. So uh, happy Cinco de Mayo. I'll probably be saying that a few times as uh, people join in and uh, welcome. So I am going to be having um, my kind of typical live sale where I've got some vintage items, some collectibles, and some unique one-of-a-kind items. And hello, Auntie Christy, and hello, everyone, for popping in. Um, yes, I am a little early today, but I figured why not start today a little early since the um, other sales are wrapping up and um, and it's going to be a busy afternoon. And hello, Belinda. Um, yes, I am feeling so, so much better. Um, yeah, um, having um, almost two weeks of um, vaccine side effects was long enough. And uh, yeah, so it just kind of one day I just woke up and felt a whole lot better. So thank you so much. And uh, and I appreciate everybody's um, good thoughts and well wishes while I uh, kind of recover from that. It was um, a bit unexpected, but you just never quite know what your body is going to do <laughs> the uh, with the vaccine and what side effects um you're gonna have and uh oh yes i did forget to grab the crunchies didn't i let me go do that real quick before we get too far into this let me keep my pillow right there sort of yeah. there you go I kind of thought that I had gotten just about everything I needed for the sale. But of course, I forgot the temptation treats to uh, keep the kitties happy. Um, yes, very exciting. I keep um, 55 more subscribers to go to get to 1,000. Um um, yeah, so almost there. And uh, yeah, I kind of keep going up to 945 and then I'll lose a few as as happens with YouTube. You gain a few, you lose a few, you gain a few, you lose a few. And um, oh, that was so nice. So, so nice. Yeah, I've been um, kind of focusing on um, trying to get caught up on um, Packing and invoicing, so I haven't been spending as much time um, on YouTube, but that was very, very nice of Nancy to do a shout out. I appreciate that. And um, hello, Judy and Rose and Linda. Hello there. So, yeah, so I just thought I would get on a little early, say happy Cinco de Mayo to everyone. And um, then I will just go ahead in case people are watching on the replay also um, and remind everyone that I do have um, logo stickers available um, in the description. Uh, these ones are the cutout ones and they are $4 a piece. And hi, Gracie. There. Okay, I'll make a little room for you. Okay, there we go. And then I also have merchandise. Uh, there is a link in the description, um, also a link on my homepage and my about page um, where I have merchandise with my logo. And then I also have, ooh, I know, going to sneeze a little bit. So this is kind of my first design. And this is a sticker that is also available through the merchandise that says elephants love packages because of the peanuts. And uh, that's kind of a play because um, I know we've all experienced it where we get packages that look like um, elephants have literally either stepped or sat on the package and you kind of wonder what happened. But um, this is a happy, I wanted to do it kind of as a happy 
Um, so we've got lots of fun packing peanuts and boxes and the, um, and the cute little elephant. And then um, this is what it looks like on a t-shirt. And then I also have um, tote bags and mugs and all of that stuff available. And um, yeah, so I just thought it would be fun to have some kind of fun things out there. And, um, and hello, oh gosh, I want to say all in the attic treasures is Marianne. Ooh, I hope I'm remembering that correctly. Hello, Mary Jo. And uh, if I happen to miss anybody, um, hello to you. Yes, I am starting a little early just so I can get some of the um, some of the announcements and stuff kind of going. And hello, Teresa, welcome. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I have going there. And again, yes, 55 more subscribers is all I need to get to a thousand. And um, also you guys be thinking about what kind of um, day of the week and what time works for you uh, best in order to have a party. Um, so I want to have a, a fun interactive party. There's most of the items um, from the giveaway, you really don't have to be present to win um, because I know people have um, already kind of put in their requests. But I'm going to, I'm going to try to have some items and uh, perks and stuff available to people who are actually at the um, party for the uh, thousand subscribers. So be thinking of a good day and time that um, works for you um, so that I can kind of figure out um, what day of the week or weekend um, and what time in order to uh, kind of work that into the schedule. And hello, um, Uncle Andy and hi, Dean Oliver. And um, Uncle Andy, I was working on uh, packaging your stuff up today, and I realized that I did not get an email from you with your information. Now, that doesn't mean that you didn't send it to me. It just means that right now, through my kind of search and everything, I cannot find it. So I would appreciate it if you could resend me your um, information. Um, so that I am able to get um, an invoice to you because it looks like I think I'm going to have two really good boxes um, coming your way. So thank you so, so much. And um, oh gosh, Blue Perfect Vintage, hello there and welcome. <laughs> I appreciate you being here. And one of these days, that name is going to roll off my tongue a little easier. How do I get a piece of cake? Judy wants to know. <laughs> well, I don't know, but um, but you never know. I may I may try to find a way of uh, working that in <laughs> as well. Uh, so thank you all so much for being here. Really appreciate um, you guys being here. And don't forget... There is still time to spread the word, um, get, uh, help me get those last uh, 55 um, subscribers that, um, that I need. And because um, I have, I think, ooh, last check, I think I was up to 17 people who have earned bonus entries into the giveaway. So if you want to be one of those people who has earned bonus entries, don't forget to watch the um, Get Me to a 1,000 Subscribers uh, video, which is the main video that is on my homepage. Uh, don't forget to enter for the giveaway, but also on there are a few ways um, to earn bonus um, entries. One of them that um, Auntie Christy came up with, hi, Sue, is to uh, do unboxings, which I do also have featured on my homepage. So if you want to see um, some great items that people have picked up, 
uh, from my sales. Um, definitely check out their unboxing videos. And um, let's see, and a few other shout out type situations. People have earned bonus entries, but the easiest way is just to um, get people to uh, subscribe to my channel, have them put their or have have them put your name into the comments when they uh, pick the items that they would like to win in the giveaway, and then you will earn bonus entries. And hello, Proud American, and um, Katie Sunshine, hello there. And with that, um, oh, I'm going to get something to drink here. So if you are new um, to my channel, welcome. I do um, vintage. I also do some collectible type items, you will see. And I also um, uh, do uh, kind of one of a kind unique um, items that I can find. I also do have um, help from my cats. Gracie, where are you going, honey? Back here. So this is Gracie. <laughs> she is black and white. Um, I also have another cat who might pop up here, who is Joe, um, and he is all black. <laughs> um, what, sweetie? What? What's going on? Okay, I know we're going to get started. We are going to get started. Okay. Yes, I'm not sure what you need. You've had everything. So I'm going to start with kind of a mismatch, but um, really close and works, a set of um, sugar and uh, creamer. And this is great if you have an off-white um, set of dishes and would like a sugar and creamer or little mini pitcher that you can actually use, not just for display purposes, because they're really pretty, but these are meant to be used. Um, so the creamer is from I Godinger and Company. And it's just a really nice size, again, either creamer or little pitcher. And then the sugar, this is home made in China. But again, it is great to be used. It is in fantastic condition and ready to store whatever you would like to store in this. It is a really large sugar. And, um, oh, uh, Gracie, Joe, and Faye. Faye is the tabby cat who uh, pops in every once in a while. She's not as uh, camera ready <laughs> as the other two are. <laughs> uh, Stephanie, I started early. That's why I am on. <laughs> so that's why uh, we always recommend that you... Um, you click on the notification bell, which I'm going to guess you did because that will let you know that uh, eh, sometimes, um, depending on kind of if Misty finishes early, I'll go ahead and pop on usually a little early. So I just felt like doing that today. So this great, very usable in excellent condition set is $6 for the sugar and creamer. And they are number 34. <laughs> nope, clock is not off. I just decided to start a little early. Why not? Hi, right, Gracie. I don't know, what do you need? And just sit right here, okay? 
Yes, well, it's a busy um, Wednesday afternoons are busy. So I thought I would go ahead and just kind of start a little early today, um, which I do sometimes on Wednesdays. So uh, so for the 20, 27 of you who are here, welcome. Um, yes, sometimes on Wednesdays, I will start just a little early. Again, depending on how Misty Sale goes, um, if she sometimes wraps up a little early, I'll go ahead and start a little early. Um, I have got this beautiful serving bowl, mixing bowl. It is Premier Colorama, made in Japan. And it's got these fantastic, oh, <laughs> crazy little free bush. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is true. That's funny, Auntie Christy. <laughs> so beautiful colors on this, that yellow and green really pop. Beautiful green border on this. And this nice serving bowl is $10, and it's number 63. And hello, Barbara. Oh, thank you so much. I am going to, oops, Gracie. Yeah, you're moving things now. Um... Okay. Yes, I do have that, Uncle Andy. Thank you so much. There we go. Oh, we're settling down so nice now. Yes, that's a good girl. Good job. Okay, no, you can stay right there. Stay there. <laughs> Oh, um, and I, I think you might have told me, uh, Plu Perfect, your, your actual name, and I apologize. It does take me a few tries before it, I finally, um, do under, <laughs> do, do connect it. Um, I'll tell you, I, I still have a really hard time remembering everybody's, um, live um, schedule. Now, Angela does a really good job to put everything on Instagram. I, as soon as I get to a thousand subscribers, I will be going back to doing it. But I do um, also try to put out a YouTube version of the schedule that shows the sales, the chats, the premieres, the kind of everything that's going on in the community because it is really hard to keep um, track. Stella, there we go. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, but it it's it does take a while to remember everybody's sales. Um, so Gracie's sitting back down here again. So. <laughs> um, here is a beautiful. Uh, so this is Spanish. It's not marked. Um, but I will say that um, I am like 99% sure that this is Spanish, not Italian. Um, it is a, you can see a bud vase. They've tapered that down. Hello, Cricket. They have tapered that way, way down um, to be a beautiful little bud vase. And oops, let me get my little ruler here. No, sit down, Gracie. Sit down. Uh, it's about four inches tall. And hello, Sheila. Beautiful colors on this. Would just look fantastic sitting on a little shelf just to add some splash of color. And hi, Jeannie. This little bud vase is seven dollars number 46 and a uh, happy cinco de mayo to everyone
And for anybody new, um, my sales, I will do just ever so slightly different from anybody's. And that is, um, I have the option of having an item done as any item that I have that I show can be done as an offer item. Um, if you're feeling like your internet is a little slow. And thank you, Rose. Um, because my internet is frequently slow and you'll notice that there's a little bit of a lag there. Um, but if you see an item and you're worried about your internet speed, just type the word offer into the chat and we can do it in that format. It may be that you are the only one, you know, or maybe one or two people are interested in a particular item. But if you are worried that you may not, um, get an opportunity with an item, um, that is one way to kind of, um, even out the playing field of it with the uh, super fast internet people. <laughs> um, next up, I'm going to do uh, kind of an interesting item. And that is, I have got a bunch of these little coconut bowls and they are from Hawaii. Or I should say they are from the little Hawaiian gift shop. And that is Han Honolulu. And I have got five of these. Um, they are really nicely cleaned and lacquered on the outside and on the inside. They are also carved out and nice and smooth and um, ready to be used for whatever. Whatever you would like them to be used for. I'm going to say on average, they are about four by, what is that, about three, like three inches tall, but about four inches across on average. Now I do have them, you can see this one's lighter, this one's a little darker. And then here are the other three. So I have five total, but I thought I would offer them individually um, because I'm not quite sure <laughs> why, why there were five of them. Uh, but you can see one's light, one's dark, and then the other three are kind of medium size. Um, no, I do not have any Joseph's originals, uh, today. So I am sorry about that. Um, these are going to be, uh, $3 each. And, um, let me see, where did I start this at? Oh, number seven. Okay. So if anyone is interested in any of these, um, for $3 each, just type uh, number 17 into the chat. And then if you are, um, you can uh, take your pick as to which one of these you are interested in. Again, they are lacquered on the outside and the inside. So they are um, kind of ready to go on that. And um, okay. So Linda would like two of them, the dark and the light ones. Okay. So thank you, Linda. Um, that's that one. And that's that one. And hello, Junker Necker. <laughs> I like that. And, um, okay. Um, uh, and then we'll go here and I will make a note, the light and dark. Okay. And then I see that Barbara would like the rest. So thank you so much, Barbara. I have you down for, oops. 
Okay, that tower is a little tall. <laughs> I have you for the other three. Um, hi, Gracie. <laughs> okay, but let's not have a Binks moment here, okay? Yeah, I, I know. I don't want you sitting up there. Come back down here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, she is very cute, but she is 15 years old and very, very stubborn. <laughs> yes, you are. How about if we just come back this way? Okay. There we go. How about this way? Okay. I'm going to put that there. There. Now you got that whole space. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. I am. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> hello, kitschy cat. And uh, yeah, I don't know what it is <laughs> with that. <laughs> they insist on showing that view. Yeah. It's like nobody wants to see that view. <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness. Oh. I know it's <laughs> it's like Binks, yeah. Um, she usually doesn't try to come quite over far this way to show off that um, that view. But yeah, nope, nobody wants to see that. So I have a single pillowcase here. Now, this is a really nice, that um, vintage feel to this. And it is in very good condition. The color is still very vibrant. Get in there close so you can see the pretty um, yellow flowers on this one. And this is a standard size pillowcase. Um, yes, I think you are right, Auntie Christy. It is something about a sign of trust or something. Um, in her case, sometimes I think she just likes to do it um, because she can be annoying. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so again, this is just a single vintage pillowcase, beautiful yellow roses and other yellow flowers on there. It looks like there's a carnation and a daisy. And this is um, $8, number 55. Yeah, there's just something about the feel of a, of a vintage pillowcase. They just have a very nice kind of softer feel to them than the, um, than the newer ones do. And Barbara for 55, thank you. So I have another pair. These are not as vintage of a set of pillowcases. And these are king size um, pillowcases. I'll show this part here because it's they are just a greenish color. Um, but they do have a really pretty little edge on it. And again, they are king size. So these are longer.
They are in very nice condition. Yes, that is a great place to find um, to find the vintage ones for sure. And this is a pair. There are two of them. Um, I didn't see a lot of wear on them. They are still in very good condition. Again, these are king size. And for the set of two king size, they are $6, number 25. <laughs> I'm reading Proud American. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if a cat would let you actually do something fun like that. <laughs> so here is a really cute little case. Um, this was part of a vanity set, and um, it is guaranteed. Um, now I'm trying to read this. Guaranteed rip proof. There we go. Guaranteed rip proof, and they are booties. <laughs> it says uh, ultra sheer. 100% nylon stretch. Now, they do still sell these cute little booties. And uh, this would be really a great way to uh, fold them up, stick them away, throw them in your purse for when you needed a little pair of booties to put on your feet to give them a little bit of a break. <laughs> or just a really fun addition to a vintage vanity set cute pink case and this is about two inches by about an inch and a half and this is a uh, five dollars number 11 for the cute little vintage plastic booties case and again, they still make these um, great things. So you could definitely um, grab a pair, put them in the case, and um, and be on your way. And and Frugal Joe, hello, Frugal Joe, number eleven. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you so much for popping in, Proud American. All right. And for anyone who is um, new to my channel, please remember to subscribe and uh, hit those thumbs up buttons. And... Um, and yeah, help help get me to a thousand subscribers. Um, I was at fifty five left before, uh, or as I was starting this. So, um, so yeah, getting closer, getting a lot, lot closer. And hello, Hazel, and um, hi, Jeannie. Let's see. Let's do this. So these are some really beautiful um, candlestick holders. If I can get this off. There we go. Okay. So these, I did start a little early today. Yes, I did. But again, if you, the little bits that you missed, um, I will go back and show those, those products again at the end. Um, so this is a glass pair of candlestick holders. 
and you can see they are pink on top and green on the bottom. They were, let me get that sticker around here, made in Germany. But I just thought that was so cool that they were pink on top and green on the bottom. And these measure four and a half inches tall. And the, um, the hole goes all the way down. So you can kind of adjust, I'm sure, how much of the candle is going to show, how much you would like it to show. Yeah, it does kind of look like watermelon, <laughs> but really pretty. And they are glass. And they both do have the Made in Germany sticker on them. And this pair is $16, number 32. Yes, they would go great with either the pink or the green depression glass. Yes. Really a neat, neat set. And hello, Will. Now, I was just thinking um, with uh, getting ready for my thousand subscribers um, to see what had happened the last time. And, you know, Will still has um, free shipping. Um, Will was one of the winners of my um, in my 500 uh, subscriber giveaway. And he won free shipping and he still has uh, free shipping that he has not used yet. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so if anything um, catches your eye, just remember, Will, that you do have still free shipping. And, um, <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, and that is Mary Jo. Or the candlesticks. Thank you. And hello, Nadine. Oh, totally, totally understand. And, um, but glad you are here. Yes, yeah, so people do actually win um, with giveaways. And hello, Blind by Beauty. Welcome. So I'm going to show this plate. Uh, this is a beautiful like cake plate. Um, this would also be great um, on a um, for a vintage vanity for putting perfume bottles or other little containers on here. Um, doesn't just have to be used for a cake plate. But the reason I'm showing it is because the candlesticks go so nicely with this. Again, another great idea of using candlesticks with um, with plates, maybe using that as like a console plate with candlesticks by it. Um, another great idea. This is um, PK, I'm going to say Celestia. I am not 100% sure, so I'm going to zoom in on that. But beautiful work, lovely chrysanthemums all around. And this gold is just amazing. And then we've got this cut out here with the gold around it. And this is uh, about nine and a half inches across. So it's a nice size plate, beautiful colors. Still very, very vibrant with the colors. Um, I just see like ever so slight utensil marks on it. Um, no, but I am always on the lookout for Coca-Cola. But uh, no, I wish I had a great find. <laughs> but I'm going to be on the look. I'm still always on the lookout for that. So this beautiful cake plate, vanity plate, console plate, whatever you want to use it for, 
is $14, number 33. And hello, Christina. And uh, if there's anybody else in here that I did miss, hello and welcome. And uh, happy Cinco de Mayo <laughs> to everyone. And then while everybody is here, I'm going to once again mention that I have um, my logo, which is Sandy and Otto. I have these available. These are the cutout ones. They are $4 each. And if you are interested, you can just pop me an email or comment in the video um, once we are done. I also have other merchandise. Um, there's a link in the description below. Plus, there are links on my homepage and my about page to get to merchandise where I have this uh, logo available in T-shirts and coffee mugs and totes and everything. And then I also have my other design, um, Elephants Love Packages Because of the Peanuts, um, which is a cute play on the fact that a lot of our packages in the USPS get trampled on like a herd of elephants <laughs> that just run through the post office. So I do have this available also in stickers and t-shirts and uh, all of that good stuff. And I will show you real quick what it looks like on a t-shirt which is really cute. So just to do a little plug. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, let's do this one next. So I have a beautiful teapot. Oh, sure. I, I sure can, Katie Sunshine. Um, so Sandy and Otto. Sandy, um, and Otto were pets of my grandparents. They are from my childhood. Um, Sandy was a cat. So the um, cat is kind of incorporated into the S. And Otto was a um, Schnauzer poodle way back in the early 70s when Schnauzer poodles weren't a, when schnoodles weren't quite a thing, but that's what he was. And so that's kind of him depicted down there. And so that is where my kind of business name came from is uh, Good Childhood Memories of Great Pets. And then my kind of tagline, I guess, is Dream Shop Love. And so that is where I ended up with my logo. And um, then I have that in my business card, which I have just... Um, two codes on my business card to scan. This one takes you right to the, my YouTube channel. This one takes you to Linktree, which gets you to the merchandise, my eBay, Poshmark, all of that stuff. And then here is the um, logo kind of in reverse it is on the back of my uh, business card. So that is where that came from. So thank you so much for asking. Up next, I have a teapot. Now, this is a great, very functional teapot. I don't think it is super old because of the style of graphics of that pink rose on there, but it is really nice and thick, so it's good insulated. Um, here is the inside, which is in very good condition, ready to be used. <coughs> It does not have a mark on the bottom as to who made it, um, but it is definitely sturdy and um, ready to be a, an actual working teapot. And this great one is $10, number 24 for the teapot. And no chips or cracks or anything that I have found on this. 
just a really nice, good working teapot and really pretty pink roses on there. Next up, I have got a little pink plastic compact mirror. It's got the two different styles of mirrors on it, the regular and the close-up. Just folds up really nice, pink, cute, little compact. This is plastic on the outside. And this is going to be $2, number 54. Um, the glass is in very good condition. $2, number 54 for the little pink mirror. And I see uh, Blind by Beauty for that one first. Thank you. Okay, so I did see that Hazel was here, and I know that uh, she had expressed some interest, so I hope Hazel is still here. <laughs> this is the Noah's Ark Bake Set. So this is a blast. This has got... This has got some amazing stuff in here, because it's not just a cookie cutter set. So it's got actual instructions and some recipes on here. Oh, good. And so on the inside, we have got the cookie cutters for the, let me see if I can get these. So we have a cow, elephant, kangaroo, um, Oh, the giraffe. And let's see, can I get this out of here? The ark. Isn't that great? That is huge. And we've got a cookie cutter for Noah. We have got the ramp up to the ark. And some more assembly instructions and um, the dove, which I'll show again on the front cover. We've got a whole pack here of icing tips so you can decorate the cookies. And then the best part of this is this backdrop which is, well, it is taped shut. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it taped shut. But here is the cutout for you where you can um, attach the arc to. And we've got all the animals there. We've got this beautiful rainbow that pops up. We've got more animals over here. And then when you put it all together, you've got the cookies. The ramp, the arc, there's the dove, and here is the big cutout. So if you had even additional um, animal um, cookie cutters, you could do even more animals and have just a whole bunch of them, of pears, and great way of decorating them with the tips that are inside for the icing. So a super fun set. And this is $8, number 29 for all of this. But I just love that backdrop with all of the animals on it. It is just fantastic. And I guess if you even wanted to, you could do that with the... Um, um, Oh gosh, what am I trying to think of? 
see where the other instructions go. Um, with the um, salt dough, you could do that and have them be a little more uh, permanent. That's what I was trying to think of. And I will get that back in there. Okay, um, Angela Columbia, I see you first for that one. Thank you. Okay, next up, I have a pair of salt and pepper shakers. And these to me look like owls. Not usually the color of owls that I see being blue and yellow, but to me, their faces look like owls. There are the holes on the top of their head. And then here are the bottoms. And that part is unglazed on the bottom there. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Barbara. Yeah, I have a lot of a lot of fun with that part of uh, the finding fun things to include in the boxes. And uh, so for this great, this is ceramic, from what I can tell. I know, trying to think, they might even be, it's so rough down there, it almost looks like, um, and then the words just went away. Um, chalkware, that's what I was trying to think of, is that it's almost rough enough to be like chalkware, but, uh, but I do think they are glazed ceramic. And these are two little over three inches tall, just a bit over three inches. And they are $12, number 14 for the pair. The glaze is still really nice on them. I didn't see any chips or cracks or anything like that. Very good condition. And hello, Lorianne Sugar Bridges. So nice of you to stop in. And I have next a really nice um, work of art. Uh, this is kind of like uh, the Pacific Northwest kind of tribal. There's a wolf, and I believe these are salmon down here. And we've got some wolves here and some wolves in the background. Now, when I get in here close so you can actually see this, there is um, like a signature or something right here. I have taken the highest magnifying um, that I can find to try to figure out what that is and I cannot read it, but I'm gonna get, move this in closer so you can get a better view of the art. So it's just a beautiful picture, and again, these are like the um, 
um, Pacific Northwest native um, symbols that, that would be depicted in art for wolves. And then again, I think this one is salmon, like what they would find in the river there. And um, really nicely framed and um, ready to be hung. And this is by Starbird Studio, which is in, now I can't remember what city in Alaska it is, but it is from Alaska. And oops, where'd my ruler go? Oh, there it is. And this is about 11 by nine for the frame size. And then the work of art itself is about six by four and a half. So beautiful picture, gorgeous wolves. And this is $20, number 61. I've got a beautiful made in Japan cup and saucer next. This is fine bone China. Beautiful floral design. And then here is the mark on the back. Oops, I think that's upside down. <laughs> there we go. And that is made in Japan. and a little bit of black hair from the cat. <laughs> and so this side has the really nice floral design. And then on the back, we've got just the smaller. Oh, that's neat, Will. Yes, I'll bet those would go good together. And then you can see this cup is kind of tiered where the, the porcelain actually has this like little line through it here and a line through it there. So it is almost like a three-tiered cup, but on the inside, it is smooth. So the design is only on the outside. And the gold trim around the edge is in good condition still. And it is on the saucer also, good condition. And then you can see it also has kind of that tiered effect. And then here it is sitting together. And this set is $8, number 23. I have a, oops, get this back over here. I have a hazel atlas, whoops, <laughs> almost dropped it, <laughs> refrigerator bottle. This is nice, really thick glass. I do not have the lid for it, uh, but this would be a really nice refrigerator, would slip right in there. And um, make sure I'm getting that the right way. Here is the mark on the bottom, which says, what is that? 4383, I think, are the numbers on the bottom. Nice tall bottle. And this is $8, and it is number eight. Yeah, one more great thing that used to come with refrigerators, the bottles and those little um, covered, covered dishes for your leftovers. So beautiful, thick, thick bottle.
Hello, tree is me. Oh, let's go this way. Okay. So I have another um, like vintage vanity item, and that is this great little plastic container. And this is marked Trina, made in Hong Kong. And you can see it is got these great little clips on the inside. So we've got the doubles. And there are a few, let me find one, of the singles. They're right there. And so here they are in the little container. So again, a great vintage vanity item. And that just snaps shut there. Great case with the clips inside. And this is $10, number 39. <laughs> yes, I remember. I remember these clips for sure from my childhood, too. <laughs> Next item is a beautiful porcelain hand painted. Um, this is like a kind of a shell shaped little double server, or again, could be used on your vanity. Um, there is a sticker on the back of this. It does say that it was hand painted by Irene, I think that says Lindbergh, uh, Mount Vernon, Washington. So she must have done a lot of these items to have stickers made up. But the flowers are beautiful. And then it does look like here, we've got another signature. in excellent condition. And this is $12, number 38. Okay, and I have a necklace. This is just a single strand necklace, but it has these beautiful purple beads and the little, I'm going to say faux pearls, little clusters of them. There's three of them on this little strand. And this is six dollars, number fifty six. I did not see any kind of indication as to who made this. And I had one of these in a previous sale, but I actually had two of these bookmarks. So these are also from Hawaii. And we've got the little documentation on them. So this one explains the wood that is used for the bookmark. 
I guess I could hold it that way. I think you can read that. And then this one talks about this cute little nut that is on the end, which is all polished up. So we have this really pretty bookmark and the little documents that go with it from Hawaii. And you can see it fits in a book really nicely, holds your place. And this is $7, number 16. For the bookmark, and then you get this little nut on the end of it. And hello, RGV Nydia. Hello there. Okay. And, um, and tree is me for 16. Thank you. And uh, next up, I have a fan. Now this is, I believe, a wood. Um, no, I haven't gotten to the lava egg yet. That um, I will, I will pull that out and do that one next. So here is a. Um, this is wood. This is actual wood, but I think this is laser cut um, wood. Just a nice fan. It works really well, actually. I will say. Um, you get a really good breeze off of this fan. Um, very nicely made. It comes in, um, oops, do it this way. Nope, it goes this way. It comes in just a little box, but it is a nice fan. It's pretty the way that it is cut out. And it is seven dollars, number thirty six. Again, that is wood. Um, that is, I'm going to say it looks like it's laser cut um, wood, but it is a really nice uh, functioning fan. And um, all in the attic. Thank you. Okay, so the lava egg, this is really, really cool. Um, so this is the egg itself. And I'll get in here close so you can see that there are tons of colors happening with this. Kind of an iridescence to it with the glaze that's on it, especially that side. Now, it does come with this little rolled up piece of paper that was stuck in the little hole that's in the bottom here. And this says that um, uh, this is made by Dan Skinner um, and it is from 100% Maui clay. Um, that ma that all Hawaiian clay is disintegrated lava. Um, and let's see, Hawaiian clay, let's see, it is a very young clay, only two to three million years old. <laughs> I guess that makes it a young clay. <laughs> uh, the texture, um, is rough um, and it, on the inside you can feel that it is very rough on the inside but on the outside it's smooth but very textured 
And um, the colors of the glaze come from a combination of different glazes and the firing process. And then it kind of explains a little more about the firing process that is used to create this egg. Really unique item. Um, I'm sure that uh, it's one of those that um, a lot are sold to the tourists, but this is really cool. It is almost four inches tall and about three inches across. And again, I'll try to do this kind of slow so you can see the different colors that are in there. And hello, Jose. But it is just really cool. And again, this is a lava egg that is 100% Maui clay. And then you get the little piece of paper that has all of the information on it. And um, get that back up in there. So that was just kind of stored right in there. <laughs> and hi, Paula. And this egg is $25. And it's number 37. But this is just a really cool, again, ceramic, 100% clay, lots of different glazes on top to create the pretty colors that are on there. And just a really, really cool item. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so a couple of you from Saturday night uh, we'll remember this item, and this is a label. It is framed, and this is the finest Gordon's oat cakes made in Scotland. And it has got this fantastic chicken on the cover there. And again, this is oat cakes made in Scotland. And this is, if I remember right, it's about 12 inches, um, just shy of 12 inches by uh, almost six inches. So really fun addition to like a farmhouse kitchen. Oat cakes made in Scotland. I haven't ever, um, I haven't had these. <laughs> I'm kind of curious about them now, though. And then again, that beautiful chicken. There we go. Trying not to get the glare in there. And this was $12, number 47. And welcome to everyone, if I haven't had a chance to say hello to you. And uh, if you are new, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. I am getting very close to a thousand subscribers. And uh, hello, Steve. And I would love to get to a thousand subscribers so I can have my thousand subscriber giveaway. And again, be thinking of what um, what day of the week and what time or weekend um, works best so that um, we can actually have as many people attending the little party as possible. So I have another 
a necklace. This is from Claire's. Really pretty little amber rhinestones in this one. Nice little drop style. And this necklace is $5, number 58. And it's just on a um, kind of a black metal chain. Okay, next up, I have a set, one, two, three, four, five. There are six of these, and they are identical. These are, um, to me, they look like poppies, and they are little candle holders. So they take the um, very skinny, probably about that big around um, candles, Kind of like what you see more at Christmas time used for um, um, those little, oh gosh, those little things that spin around and ding, ring the bell, the little brass things. Those kind of little candles are the kind that go in here. These are uh, made in Germany. And they are all identical. So all of the designs, see if I can get them up here, sort of, all the designs are the same. And again, to me, they look like, um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think that is the technical name for it. Absolutely. <laughs> and so again, here are the six of them, and then here are three of them, and then here are the, oops the other three. So they are all identical. And oops. Or the set of six made in Germany little candle holders. They are $10 number 22. And I'm just going to put them back in this little bag because they have a tendency of uh, wanting to roll around. And hello, Yvonne. Thank you so much for reminding everyone about the thumbs up. I appreciate it. And hello, Christina. Okay. Now, next up, I have got this. They're called candle windmills. Okay. <laughs> Good to know, and thank you for looking that up. Look at this guy. Now, I remember this kind of vinyl from my childhood. It's kind of a thin vinyl, but it definitely is more of a vinyl than a plastic. But look at this little hand puppet. Isn't he just adorable? And he's got all these great little starbursts on. And then his head is like that very squishy kind of plastic. You can see I can kind of squish him in there very easily. Isn't he just amazing? <laughs> Hello, Sabrina. So yeah, I could just, <laughs> just play with him for hours. He is so 
cool, fantastic vintage hand puppet. And again, look at that face. Have you ever seen a cuter face? And this hand puppet is $20, number 44. Yeah, and I mean, just the Starburst vinyl is fantastic on its own. But look at that amazing little face. So cute. I have a pair of crystal candle holders. Beautiful design on this. Definitely made to show off the um, light from the candle that is burning on the inside. And let me see if I can get them. Yeah, they are lovely crystal. I don't see a marking on them as to who made them, though. I was looking to see if there was something engraved, but I don't see that. But look at how beautiful that design is. Again, that's going to show off a either a tea light or a battery-operated candle. It's going to show off that flicker really well. And these are about three and a half inches tall by about three and a half inches wide. And again, they are a pair, a matching pair. And for the pair, they are $12, number 52. Yeah, they do have a beautiful sparkle to them. And these are crystal. And they do have that nice, let's see if I can do this again, nice ring to them. Okay, so I have got a treasure craft item, and these are salt and pepper shakers. They are, does say Hawaii on them. And here is the back. Now, the one of them right back here does have a little bit of a mark out of it. But I'm sure if you just took one of those furniture um, markers um, that they you could cover that up real easily. Here is the, um, the bottom. So it's got this kind of a cork and it sits in the hole nicely. This has four on top. It slips right back in there. And then this one has five. And then here is the mark on the bottom. And so on this one, I am going to do this as an offer. And hello there. So I am going to start these at $14 for the Treasure Craft fish, technically kissing fish, salt and pepper shakers. This is a fantastic treasure craft set.
And RGV, um, I do see you for the crystal um, candle holders. So thank you. And hi, Tiger. And hello, Margo. I was in the middle of typing and I forgot to say Margo. Hello, Margo. <laughs> Uh, so again, these are an offer on the Treasure Craft salt and pepper shakers that we are starting at $14. And if no one is interested in them, then I will go ahead and move on to the next item. That there. Okay, so moving on. This is another um, kind of vintage vanity, uh, but it is a travel. Uh, perfume holder it does still have a little bit in there and so this has the kind where it has a little hole on top so you can do just a little dab when you need to and this is a glass container gold on each end and then it has these um i don't know they kind of remind me of like griffins on it. I'll try to get in here as close as I can to show off. It's kind of like a winged winged horse, but not quite a horse. It's an interesting design on here and they are all over it. Uh, but this is a really nice again, just put this in your um, handbag and you've got traveling perfume you know or you can keep it in your vintage vanity display and this is twelve dollars number 40. it's 95 degrees already tiger who that is warm And I see Vintage Peep Show for number 40. Thank you. So this is a really cute little um, cup, nice aqua blue. Now my lighting might be drowning it out a little bit. Um, it is a really vibrant aqua blue. And on the inside, we have a little panda bear. So this is great for kids, um, you know, hot cocoa. Now it comes with the coaster slash lid on this one. It's not marked. Um, however, it's probably made in China, but that panda is so cute, cute little rosy cheeks. And what a fun little surprise is you're drinking down and you get the little um, panda hopping out there and this little cup and saucer lid is eight dollars number 43. now tiger is this normal for may temperature to be at 95 is that um is that kind of typical of uh 
the I guess the the heat that you guys get um, for May, or is that even a little warm for May? Okay. Yeah, I think we were getting, I think it might even be 60 degrees outside where I am, which is pretty good for May to be in the 60s. I think we're usually about in the in the 50s too. Um, so I have this. This is a black lacquer little trinket box. Here is the inside. So you can see how nice and shiny that black lacquer is. And on the outside here, this would be all hand painted. Ooh, that is warm, Tiger. And so I think, but I'm not 100% sure that these are hibiscus flowers on here. And, uh, but it is just a small little trinket box that is about... Ooh, just a little more than two inches by about two inches. So nice size, beautiful colors, just enough to hold, you know, a ring, maybe a pair of earrings. Nice little box. And this is $10, number 27. Again, this is about two inches by two inches. And I've got a little bumblebee. So this is a little glass bumblebee. He's even got a little stinger. Couple little bits of honey down here. Here is the top view. And let's see, he is about an inch tall and about an inch wide. He is a little guy, but so much detail in an inch. I'll move it around. You can see he's even got little eyes, pretty little wings, and hello, Katie. Thanks for popping in. So this little bee, oops, there he is, is fourteen dollars, number forty-eight, for the little glass bee. Hello, book. Now I'm going to show an Oneida silver plated tray. Um, don't tell Nate I didn't polish it because some people like the natural colors that come out from the silver. Some people do like to. Okay, that person can go away. Here on the back, uh, let's see, Paula is saying the bees sold, oh, Christina 48. Thank you, Paula.
Let me get Christina Taylor. Thank you, Christina. Okay. And thank you, Katie and Tiger and everybody else who jumped in there. Uh, so again, Oneida Silversmiths. Let me find it on the back here. There. We've got Oneida Silversmiths right there. Nice tray. Again, great for a vintage vanity. It is nine and a half inches by six inches. Lovely design. And again, this would be great polished or not polished. And this is $6, number 45. Again, that's what, nine and a half by six inches for the tray. I have this beautiful three piece set. So we have a cup and saucer and the matching plate, breakfast plate or dessert plate with your matching cup and saucer. Beautiful floral design. Beautiful floral, every color here, pink and orange and blue and green. But it is not marked as to where it is, was made. None of the pieces are marked. But I love the floral design. So that's the dessert plate. Here is the saucer. in very nice condition not perfect condition i don't think let me see now there's ever so slightly a little bit of wear on there and hello kathy and then here is the cup which is really nice um very thin fine bone china and you can see it has the scrolling all the way through it. And then it has these really pretty feet on the cup. And so again, this is a three-piece set. Great for a breakfast set. And this is $12, number 12. Oh, thank you, Irene. I have a pair of crystal goblets or wine glasses. Beautiful design on these. So here is the main design and then here is the side. And these do have a very nice crystal ring to them. Here is the bottom and the nice stem on those and again beautiful design these would even look great with little tea light candles or battery operated candles in them great at christmas time to stick um, your really fancy um, ball ornaments in if you don't want to put them on the tree great way to display them 
And this pair is $14, number 53. And I have a nesting cat. Let's see, let me get the design matched up here. Here we go. So here is the cat. So that's the first layer. And hello, Pat. Here is the second layer. Oops, let me line him up. There we go. He's got a little ball. Now the third layer. Unfortunately, he is missing an ear. And then there's one more layer on the inside. And we've got the mouse and his cheese. So we've got the mouse, the yellow cat that's missing an ear. We've got the white one with the little ball. And then we've got the orange cat. And this little nesting set is $12, number 26. And, um, oh, I see Barb Lee first for number 26. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> it is hard sometimes to have the right variety of boxes for shipping. <laughs> so I have got this print. This is this is just like hauntingly beautiful. Um, it's it's called Wells Cathedral, and this is the Lady Chapel. And I will let you know that this has a sticker on the back from England, from where this is from. And it says, this print is guaranteed to be a genuine antique engraving. And it is um, dated 1835. So I'll show the back of the sticker there. And then I will show the print. And again, this is Wells Cathedral, the Lady Chapel. Very gothic in the design of the cathedral. Tons of detail in this um, engraving. 
Um, it is just beautiful. I think this would be great with um, Halloween decor because of the gothicness of the uh, picture, the design on here. And um, just that it's just a very, to me, it's like a very haunting image. Uh, the frame is about 10 and a half by nine. And the picture is six and a half by five. But it is just gorgeous. And again, this is an 1835 engraving. Just beautiful. And this is $30, number 64. And this is custom framed, and the frame is um, distressed on purpose. So I will show a little bit of that. It's like a gold painted wood. And, <laughs> and my mom has claimed 64. Okay, so how about some uranium glass? Um, Christina, the elephant stickers, um, I don't have those. Um, they can be purchased on, I probably should just go ahead and purchase a bunch of them. But, um, but they, on my merchandise tab, which is through Teespring, um, you can order them that way. But thank you so much for your interest in that. Um, I'm looking for my flashlight and I, and I put out the, um, the light so that I can try to show off this really cool sugar and creamer set. Um, that is uranium glass and it has a really fantastic glow to it. Really bright, bright glow. Let me see if I can get some more of that glow to show there. But yeah, this has a gorgeous glow and it's a really neat pattern. with this great little like optic type design. And I love the handles on this. And then here is the bottom. Really cool design. And this set is $18, number 49. Um, yeah, that is one of the unfortunate things is that um, print times can be a little slow. Um, it probably just depends on volume. And uh, Sabrina Simon, I see first for number 49. Thank you.
but yeah, that is really too bad that your one never made it. That is so strange. Okay. So I lost a label, which seems like that happens at least once. Um, let me find this item. Maybe. Oh, here it is. Okay. So this is a beautiful Royal Copley dish, and it is marked on the back, like a cute little bird cedar, bird feeder trinket dish, beautiful pink and blue coloring, and it is in really good condition. The only thing I see is like a little extra bit right there. But otherwise, I think this is in very good condition. And whoop, where'd my ruler go? This is about five inches by about six inches to the tip of the tail. But beautiful colors, beautiful bird. Again, this is Royal Copley. And this is $12, number 50. Oh, I do see, hold on. I do see a little chip back here now. Now that I get it under the lights, I do see that there is a little chip back there. So I do just want to make sure that you are aware of that. I'm just double checking there. Sometimes, you know, you try to get, I, my kitchen usually has the best lighting in it and I usually catch everything, but this one I did not catch. So, um, so let me know, um, um, Connie CLC is first. Let me know if you would still like that. I'm just giving it one more look over just to be sure. So let me know if you, that is still a go or if you would like to pass on that. Oh, okay, Connie. Thank you very much for confirming that. And then next, I have got probably my favorite salt and pepper shakers I have ever seen. Um, these are cats in these really fancy boots. And not only that, but we have got actual fur here coming out on the side there. So I'm going to say this is probably rabbit fur on here. But I just love the way that they are painted. I mean, these are like really <laughs> snooty little cats. <laughs> I just love their eyes. 
They are just amazing. Here are the holes. So we've got two on this one and three on this one. Here they are the bottoms. Now I don't see again where these were made, but these are just so fantastic. They've got their little paws right there. Hi, Melanie. I know, aren't they just amazing? <laughs> and I'll give you a quick measurement on these. So they are about three and a half inches tall. And then the boot is, well, the boot's about three and a half inches too. Yes. <laughs> so they are just so fantastic. Very much remind me of like the 20s or something with those high, the way the boot comes up and it's almost like a high collar. And they are $18, number 51. Really fabulous cats. And Carrie Ann for those. Thank you, Carrie Ann. And then I have a standalone creamer. This has a beautiful pink rose pattern. And hello, Junking Data Girl. Really fancy feet on this creamer. And then it's got this nice pattern along with the pink roses. The top has the gold on it and then the handle's got a little accent right there and this is from poland so this is the royal kent collection poland and it stands about the tallest part here about four inches and that's about four inches also. So beautiful. And again, really nice design on the foot of this. And this is $7, number seven for the creamer. Made in Poland. Now I have a set of five of these really nice berry bowls. And these are made, let me get it going the right direction here. Yep, this way. See if I can get in here close enough for you to read. Nope, that way. These are Arcarock France. That is not easy to say. A-R-C-O-R-C-O, -R -C -O, Arcarock. France, and they are stacking like berry bowls, cereal bowls. And I have a set of five of them, and you can see how nice they stack. Um, minor wear, ever so slight, really don't see um, anything on there, but I am going to just say minor wear because they probably were used at some point but just really nice how they stack so well and there are five of these and 
For the five, they are $15, number 42. And I have a really neat necklace. This is not turquoise, but it is a turquoise, um, like a probably plastic stone or plastic bead in here. And so you can see we've got um, really beautiful detailing all the way down the necklace to the pendant which again has that beautiful, it's got like gray rhinestones and the clear ones. And then it's got another one of those turquoise, but just really pretty detailing all the way through. And it's gonna be kind of a shorter hang, probably like that. And hello, Jan. This is a uh, $10, number 57. And thank you everyone for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. And again, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe as I am getting very close to a thousand subscribers. And we'll be having a big giveaway. So again, if you are new, um, subscribe and watch the video. And I've got one more picture. This one is really fun. Um, I'm going to try to read. Nope, I think I wrote it down so I didn't have to try to read the bottom. Okay. So this is from 1988. It is um, called Jumping the Gate. It is by, I think, John Sturgis. Um, Sturgis is the last name for sure, but I think it's John who did this. Um, it is an Arthur A. Arthur A. Kaplan Company Litho in USA. And it's really hard to tell, but it is written all along the bottom there. <laughs> but it is this great um, horse jumping this gate. As it's like, um, I'm going to say like probably part of like a fox hunt or something. Now, this is not, I don't think, in any kind of a custom frame. So um, if you would like me to take it out of the frame to be less costly for shipping, I am happy to do that in this particular case. And this is $20, number one. And this matting is actually part of the print. So the matting is attached and this is all just one big print that comes with that really nice custom, what looks like custom matting. So oh, this is an item that I have shown before. So if it does look familiar, that is why. These are nesting boxes that say Hawaii on them. It is made in the Philippines. Now the back one section right there has a little boo-boo, but it's on the back so you really don't see it. This is a nice red lined 
box. And inside is another box that is red lined. And inside that is a third box that is red lined. And it is all this nice woven um, boxing. They are all lined. And they all have the pineapple and Hawaii on them. And for the set of three boxes, it's $10, number 15. So oh, I've got another fantastic child toy from the 50s or 60s. And this is a sawdust filled. Hello, Pamela. And hi, Dana. And Michelle Lee, if I forgot to say hello to you, hello. <laughs> so he is sawdust filled. He's kind of poseable. He is like a shelf sitter. He's pretty good about sitting straight up if he were sitting on a shelf. Um, he's got this fantastic fringe on the side in wonderful condition. His little feet are velvet, and you can see they are in pristine condition. His little hands are velvet also. Ears and head is also velvet in such good condition. Look at those ears. They're in wonderful condition. All of this is felt also, all on his nose. Very good condition. He was very, very well cared for. Um, you... Did Linda, however, it did not sell. So I will be having that in the recap. Um, or if you can't hang around for the recap, let me know and I can pop it in again real quick. So this guy is about, I think he's nine inches tall. Yep, he's about nine inches tall. Again, he's from the 50s, early 60s. And he is $20, number 31, for this amazing sawdust-filled toy. Um, here. Okay, so if Linda's still around, I will just pop in and do this one real quick. Here is the lava egg. This is 100% Maui. Um, now I'm going to forget all my words. Hold on. Maui clay. So here is the beautiful glazing that is on this. And again, this is Maui clay. And it's done by Dan Skinner. And it comes with this whole big fact sheet about this. It's got a hole on the bottom. And then on the inside, you can actually feel the rough texture of the clay. And so the since this is Maui clay and Maui clay is lava, that's how this becomes a lava egg. And um, it's about four inches tall. And let's see, I'll get that back in there. This was $25, number 37. 
and beautiful texture on that. Makes it look very prehistoric, the way that the uh, texturing is done on that. Yes, that's what I have seen on that, um, Dana, that they do say no two are alike because of the the firing technique and the way that it takes to the glaze. Each one is very unique um, creation. Now I've got a set of five um, hand painted in uh, made in Japan plates. And um, oh. so I do see, um, I see tree is me for the lava egg. Thank you. And hello, Sean, skunky junk. <laughs> so these are a set of five uh, plates. They are all painted by the same artist. And they are made in Japan. And they do have hangers for hanging on them. Uh, these, I think, were about five inches across. Um, I am going to have them available for $5 each. If you would just like one, or um, there are five of them. So if you wanted the whole thing, um, the whole set of five, that that would be $25. But if you are interested in just one or two of these or three or however many, um, they can be sold separately. Some have swans. Um, some do not. Each one is similar, but just a little bit different. And so again, some have just the water, bridges, and trees. This one has, again, similar, but with just a swan in it. This one, again, is similar, but without the house. So you could have an instant wall with these if you wanted to. And again, they are all painted by the same artist. And then there is this one. And so again, if anyone is interested in them, um, oops. Nope. What did I just do? There we go. Um, let me know if they are $5 each. If you are interested, um, or I can just go back through the numbers. That would probably be easier. Let's see. And that's two. And okay. So again, if anyone is, this is number two and it is $5. This one is number three and it is $5. Um, 10 p.m. what time zone? So that way everybody in here can know. Uh, this is number four. Eastern time. Okay. So if you're not subscribed to Antiques from Karen, um, go ahead and put your link in because you're a mod. 
put your link in. Um, and then 10 p.m. Eastern time or 7 p.m. Pacific, um, head on over to her channel. This is number five. And then we can all catch her sale. And this one is number six. Okay, I've got this. This is the EO Brody made in Japan. Grapes and ivy. Or grapes and leaves. I think that's it. Grapes and leaves. This is a planter. It fits a four inch pot. Here is the sticker. Nice pedestal planter. And this is $10, number nine. I know first first um solo sale is uh is kind of um um I don't know you're you're nervous and excited at the same time. How about that? <laughs> uh, okay. Got another necklace. Well, you know, you can just get the um, get the fake ones, get the fake plants and put those in there. And then you don't ever have to worry about um, about killing them. <laughs> I should have brought over my little sample. I bought a little sample box of the uh, fake succulents because, um, yeah, they're the only ones um, that I can have around here because the cats would chew on everything else. And uh, Skunky Junk, I have you for number nine. Thank you. So I have another necklace. This is a multi-strand silver tone chain. And you can see it comes down to this beautiful knot. And that can just kind of, it does have a clasp that it pretty much can just fit right over your head. This would be beautiful with a black sweater, black t-shirt gorgeous to make it really pop out. She combines real and fake. Why not? <laughs> Makes it easier that way. <laughs> this is $8, number 60. For the beautiful multi-strand silver tone with the knot and then the kind of drop, really pretty. Oh yes, the one on the corner. So I have the little girl paperweight. I did show her in a previous sale, um, but I just think she is gorgeous. So she is just in a clear glass um, glued to the back. I do not know the age of this other than um, it is older. Um, it was in a bunch of stuff from an estate sale that was quite old. And so she is just a gorgeous little gal with her cat. And this measures four inches by two and a half inches by about an inch thick. 
wonderful vintage paperweight. And this is um, $20, number 35. This is a, <coughs> excuse me, uh, made in Kenya. It is a carved bowl out of stone. Now it does have a couple of chips. Let's see that one. That's a real small one. And then it's got a couple right there, but they're on the underside. You don't really see it too much. And this is just a really cool bowl. It is a smaller bowl. Um, it's about four inches and maybe an inch and a half deep. Really neat design on that. And this is $4, number 10. Again, this is um, the carved out of stone. And thank you, Melanie. I've got another necklace. This one is a multi strand. Here are the strands. And then it has this beautiful pendant on the bottom. Just made out of metal. And this is a nice shorter size, so it's going to have that nice pop right about there. And this is $9. Number 59. And I have another planter, little animal planter. Now, this one um, is probably Shawnee. And it's got a little bow tie right here. Cute little expression on his face. He kind of looks a little surprised. And then he's just a very small little planter opening there. And oh, 59 for Rose. Let me write that down. Thank you, Rose. And I'll get some dimensions on here. He is about six and a half inches tall. And mm, about three and a half inches wide. So he's not too big, but just big enough. Would look great with a little air plant in there. And. Yep, I just lost his little tag. <laughs> Let's see, where is he? There he is. So he is $18, number 30, for the deer planter. 
He is in excellent condition. And again, I think he is Shawnee. And I see um, CLC first for that one. Thank you, Connie. And then I have a couple of items that I am going to do as freebies. If you have purchased today, um, that I can include this in your um, in your package and you are interested in it, I will give a number. And again, this is no cost, um, but this is the red lipstick container. It does have, um, <laughs> thank you, Michelle. That is awesome. <laughs> yes, please subscribe. I would love to get to a thousand subscribers. So please subscribe. <laughs> so this is red, um, like a kind of satiny and it's got the little mirror in there. But if you would like this little lipstick and you have purchased, so I can just put this in with your items. This is number 41. I just repurposed a tag <laughs> on this one. So again, if you would like this at no cost other than just, um, just to have it thrown in your box, just again, type in number 41 for the little lipstick box. And I see uh, Sabrina Simon for that one. And then I have another freebie item. So this is a set of three teacup ring holders or ring holders, napkin holders set of three of them that are in the shape of a little teapot or coffee pot. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be used for that, can be repurposed into any of your crafting needs. And then I have this one that is like a silver tone metal with a gold bow on it. And again, these can be used for however you would like to use them, but they are just a freebie item that I am giving away. Again, if you have purchased, um, these are number 28. If you would like them um, tossed into your box, just type in number 28 and I will include those. And I see Linda Punky. Thank you, Linda. And so that is um, one time through everything. If anyone would like to stick around, I will go through the items that didn't sell if you came in late. Um, and would like to see those just uh, stick around. Otherwise, um, thank you so much for being here. Uh, really appreciate it. And um, and again, um, watch the um, Get Me to a 1,000 subscribers. Pick out your items for the giveaway. Um, get people to subscribe to my channel have them put your name in the comments also to earn bonus entries into the giveaway. Um, oh, that's such a great idea, Linda. So starting with, I'm just going to go down my little list. Um, we've got the picture that is the, um, the, um, Horse jumping the gate. 
This is a um, USA Litho, and this was number one, twenty dollars. I have the set of five um, hand painted in Japan plates. They are $5 a piece. Um, if you are interested in any of these, um, or if you go back and watch the video later to get a better look at these, um, just let me know in an email. It would be $25 for all of them. There are five or $5 each. I have the Made in Poland creamer. This is a porcelain creamer with beautiful pink roses on it. And this is Royal Klein. Royal Kent. And uh, Royal Kent Collection Poland. That's what I was trying to say. And this was $7, number seven. Oh, thank you so much, Nancy. That was very kind of you. Oh, and that was nice of Paul, too. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, I have the Hazel Atlas refrigerator bottle. This was number eight, and it was $8. I don't have the lid for it, um, but there is the mark on the bottom, and this was a nice um, bottle to go in the refrigerator. I had again the, this is um, made in Kenya, it's out of stone. It does have a couple of chips on it. Really nice design. This was about four inches. And this was $4, number 10. This was a three-piece set. So you get the cup and matching saucer and the breakfast or dessert plate. It is not marked as to who made it, but um, I will say this bone china is very thin. So I would imagine there was a made in Japan sticker on there. Again, there is the cup and saucer, and this three-piece set was $12, number 12. And Linda, I see you for number 10. Thank you. had a treasure craft and this was a salt and pepper shaker set they are the kissing fish one of the fish does have a little spot of missing glaze on it but here is the bottom it goes right in there and then this one also has the cork Again, these are, oops, this way, Treasure Craft. I 
And this was um, $14, number 13. I have the owl salt and pepper shakers. These are ceramic, blue and yellow painted. They do appear to be in excellent condition. And they are $12, number 14. And precious lavender button. I have you for 14. Thank you. I have these set of three Hawaii nesting boxes. They are all lined with red. Um, it's like velvety kind of material. They all have the pineapple. The outer box just has an ever so slight little boo-boo right there. But the set of three were $10, number 15. Um, hi, Joe. Come up. Come on. Come on. This is Joe. Hi. Look over here. Shh. Over here. Look up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I had the set of six. They are all identical. The um, I believe these are poppies, and these are candle holders. They take the really skinny candles, uh, made in Germany. They are ceramic. Again, there are six of these, and they are all um, identical. And they are $10 for the set, number 22. I have this made in Japan, cup and saucer. Beautiful floral design. What do they do when they're mad at me? They ignore me. <laughs> they absolutely ignore me. <laughs> And if I walk into a room where they're at, they will leave because they are annoyed with me. <laughs> I am lucky that they don't attack anything or destroy anything. I am very, very lucky that way. <laughs> so here is the Made in Japan mark. And again, this is a really nice... Um, thin bone china set and you can see it has the design on the outside but the inside is nice and smooth but the outside has this um, kind of sectioned design and again the plate kind of matches that 
And this was $8, number 23. Oh, Jan, that's terrible. <laughs> that is terrible. Oh, my gosh. I have this beautiful, very functional teapot. Great on the inside. No chips or cracks. It is in fantastic condition. This was $10, number 24. And again, no chips or cracks. It's not marked as to where it was made. I'm going to say probably China, but it is a really nice, thick teapot. And that was um, Precious Lavender Buttons. Thank you. there. I had a pair of king size pillowcases. Now these are not vintage. Um, they are green. They do have a really pretty trim on them. They are still in very good condition. And they are large king size. And for the pair, um, they were six dollars, number twenty five. I had this beautiful trinket box. This is a black lacquer hand painted trinket box. It's about two inches by two inches. Great for a ring or some earrings. I'm going to say most likely this was painted in Hawaii. And this was $10, number 27. I think these are hibiscus flowers on here. I had the um, toy from the 40 or from the 50s or 60s. This is the sawdust dog, kind of a shelf sitter. He is full of sawdust. His velvet is in excellent condition. Fringe, his hands, his ears, his head, all in fantastic condition. He's about nine inches tall, and he's $20, number 31. This is a PK Celestia plate. It is about nine and a half inches across. 
This was um, $14, number 33. Beautiful chrysanthemums. Gold trim all around. And here is the mark on the back. Again, this was fourteen dollars, number thirty-three. This is a mismatch set but it is a very functional um, set of cream and sugar. Um, this one says um, home made in China, um, very large sugar dish, no chips or cracks. This one, uh, the creamer says I Godinger and company. Thank you so much, Linda. Really appreciate you being here. And this set was $6, number 34. Great set to actually use um, instead of just looking pretty on the shelf like the other ones do. Oops. Oh, yeah. And just in case, we had the pretty girl in the paperweight. She was $20, number 35. This was a hand painted little porcelain divided dish. Could be a server, could be a um, something in your vanity area. It is done by Irene Lindbergh. And there is a little sticker on the back. It also says that she hand painted it. And this was $12, number 38. Kind of seashell like um, shapes. And Irene, I see you for 38. Thank you. Uh, I have this little plastic dish, little case, vintage vanity, and it has all of these great clips, vintage clips on the inside. And this little case is marked Trina, made in Hong Kong. Thank you, Michelle. Appreciate you being here. And again, this is a great vintage case. And this was $10, number 39. And you get the great double clips. And there are a couple of, let's see if I can find them. There are a couple of the singles in there also.
I had the set of five stacking Arcarock France glass bowls. Uh, very little wear on them. And there it says Arcarock France. They do stack very nicely. And there are a set of five of these. And they were $15, number 42. I had the aqua blue teacup with the coaster lid. And this has the panda on the inside. Great for a child or a hot cocoa mug. And this was $8, number 43. And let's see, I'm going to try to figure out that name. <laughs> let's see. Maury Jewelry for U N V. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. And if you haven't previously sent your, um, contact information uh, to me, please do so um, in the near future. Mort Jewelry for you to envy. Oh my. <laughs> that is quite a name. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I have the Vinyl Deer Hand Puppet. So this is very vintage. And we've got this cute little deer with the kind of rubber, vinyl-y rubber head. It's squishable a bit. And we've got this great vinyl and starburst pattern. Isn't he just adorable? And he is $20, number 44, for this great little hand puppet. Well, that's wonderful, Maury. Um, just make sure that at some point, if you haven't done so already, that you um, send me an email with your um, your YouTube name, your name, your mailing address, and your PayPal email address. So thank you. I had the crystal um, goblets. And these were $14, number 53. Here is the side pattern and the front pattern on those. And they are crystal. And that was $14, number 53. And thank you so much, Joanne. And I have the Oneida Silver Plated Tray. Again, this is a great vanity tray. Could be shined up or you could just leave it natural. And this was $6, number 45. I know, sometimes it just takes a while. It's been taking a long time to get there, but. I keep getting closer 
each day. So thank you so much, Yvonne. I have the Made in Scotland, uh, the finest Gordon's Oat Cakes. This is like a 12 by 6 inch frame. Beautiful chicken on the front. And this was $12, number 47. Maury, I'm, I don't know what that means. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry. But, uh, but uh, yeah, you, you need to email me or have someone email me if you don't have email. Because I need your, um, your YouTube name to go with your actual name, your email. Uh, your PayPal email address and your mailing address. Um, so if you don't have an email address, find someone who does have an email address so you can send that. I don't have a link to drop to you. Um, my email address is, um, it's in all of the chats. It is on my about me page and I am typing it in right now so that I can pin that up. Okay. And I'm going to go through the jewelry. Um, I would think you are right, Tiger. I think so. So I've got this beautiful multi-strand silver that is in um, a kind of a knot pendant. And this one was $8, number 60. For the multi strand silver, I've got the turquoise, the like turquoise bead. So here is the pendant, and then here are the beads and fasteners and all of that good stuff. And this one was $10, number 57. This one was from Claire's and it is on like a blackish uh, chain. Beautiful amber rhinestones on that one. And this was $5, number 58. And then this was the purple and uh, pearl, faux pearl, sil single strand gold tone necklace. And this was $6, number 56. And then I had the wolf art. So this is like a Pacific Northwest 
We've got the wolves. And then I believe these are salmon. We've got the wolves pictured in the middle here. And it is very nicely framed by a studio in Alaska. And that was $20, number 61. And then the last item I have on the recap is this Made in Japan Premier Colorama Bowl. Beautiful boho colors on that. There is the back. And this was $10, number 63. And so that is one more time through everything. So uh, thank you so much, uh, everyone, for being here all of the new subscribers. Um, thank you so much. Um, really appreciate you guys being here. Um, keeping the chat lively. That is always um, fun. And um, let's see what is going on. Um, so I know Mimi's treasure, um, Mimi's treasure cottage is live right now. So thank you guys so much. And in an hour from now, um, Tammy at Vintage Uprising Texas will be having a sale. And then don't forget at um, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, Antiques from Karen Janet, Jan, <laughs> will be having a sale. So, um, so yeah, so I look forward to seeing you guys at all the other sales and thank you so much for being here and hanging out. And, uh, yeah, so I look forward to seeing you guys at my next sale on Saturday night and, uh, don't forget, help me get to a thousand subscribers, be one of the people with the, um, with the bonus entries into the giveaway. So thank you guys so much, and um, I will see you around in the other chats. So take care.